My name is Barney Stump, and uh, I've been in the kids' ministry here at Faithbridge for 12, 14 years, something like that. And uh, my story starts way back, 1974, and I saw this gorgeous brunette across the street, and the rest is history. We just celebrated 39 years of marriage. I'm Janice, and I've been married to Barney for 39 years. It was 39 years in June. Barney did not uh, have a personal relationship with Jesus. First 17 years of marriage was, uh, was tough because I wasn't a Christian, and she was. You know, I didn't fight anything about going to church. I just didn't really want to go. I went uh, at times to because she's my wife, and I loved her, you know, but uh, I didn't get engaged or involved or anything like that. Just, just went. I mean, I love my husband, and we had a great marriage. Um, but that's a big hole if you don't have um, your husband or your wife on the same page with you spiritually. <sighs> uh, so it was hard sometimes, but God was faithful. She uh, never ever beat me over the head with the Bible or anything. She just lived the life of Christ in front of me really love me and put up with a lot of nonsense, I'll have to say. Yeah, those were some, got at times some dark and destructive days in my life. I was praying that he would see Christ in me, that he would see that it wasn't some lame thing, that he would see that it was real and that Christ was real and that Christ would become real to him. Before I was a Christian, Janice was involved in uh, some children's ministry areas. And I watched her come home with just this joy, and just this happiness from serving those children and being around them. We would be out at stores or different places, and all of a sudden I'd hear this little voice, Miss Janice, Miss Janice, and I'd look around, and these little kids would come running up and give her these leg hugs. I kept seeing that. You know, it just really kept just kind of tugging at my heart, tugging at my heart. I was really frustrated and, and just at wit's end with my life, really. I mean, I was just a lot of wrong decisions and just not there, you know, really connected like I should be with my kids and or even in my marriage. But she just kept praying for me and finally it was time. You know, I asked her one day in our, in our kitchen, I said, why did Jesus come to earth? And that was the eureka moment for her. She knew I was so close. The one thing that I definitely remember after I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart was my language changed. Before that, I was kind of a sailor with short temper and angry. He became more compassionate and patient um, with the kids with just circumstances all together. And he made deeper friendships with other men who were believers. And he started attending a men's group that uh, was really good for him. And they were all good for each other and encouraging each other and growing in the faith. He jumped into serving too. And that was really fun because then we were starting to serve together. And uh, there's nothing like it. I started setting up chairs and unloading the trailer and greeted people at the door. I got involved with a little bit of the kids' ministry then. I mean, it fit my spirit. It, it fit everything about me. Earlier on with my children, I didn't feel like I had what it took to be a dad. But that's the lie that Satan speaks to men. Becoming that Christian man and from that point forward being that knowing that, no, I've always had it. I was just believing the lie. I could make a scrapbook of all the little notes and cards and bracelets and patches and things that the kids have given me over the years. You know, I just thank Faith Bridge for letting me blossom. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me the, the new life. <laughs> that is just joy. That is extreme joy, that's treasure that I had no idea was out there for me before I became a Christian. And it's out there for everybody. Just have to move out of the way and let God lead you.